Described as one of the most prolific songwriters of his generation, Noel Gallagher has been at the forefront of British rock for more than three decades. He was the primary songwriter, guitarist, and co-lead vocalist for Oasis, who at the time of their breakup in 2009 had sold more than 75 million albums, with eight number one singles and eight number one albums. Noel then went on to form his current band, The High Flying Birds, who have released four UK number one albums to date. So given his incredible track record and reputation as a songwriter, it may surprise you to know how he actually writes his songs. How I normally write songs is I'll be at home. The telly will be on with the sound down and I'll have an electric guitar on my lap. And to the untrained eye, I'll look like I'm watching telly while playing guitar, but what I'm actually doing is neither. I'm neither taking any notice of what I'm playing or watching TV. I'm just in a daze messing around and then I'll go, hang on a minute, what was that? And I heard Noel Gallagher describe this way of writing during his interview with the guys from Soda Joker on songwriting, during which he reveals some incredible insights into his thought process when coming up with new material. But how can this process work? How can not paying attention to anything in particular yield the kind of musical results that Noel Gallagher has become famous for? In his book, Imagine How Creativity Works, Jonah Lira says that being unfocused and distracted can boost creativity levels. And he shares a study conducted by two neurologists at Harvard and Toronto University, in which 86 graduates were given a sensory test that, as Lira says, was designed to measure their ability to ignore outside stimuli, such as the air conditioner humming in the background or the conversation taking place in the nearby cubicle. The test was essentially aiming to measure how well the subjects could focus and concentrate despite the distractions. And apparently, the researchers were astonished by the results. Those undergrads who had a tougher time ignoring the unrelated stuff were also seven times more likely to be rated as eminent creative achievers. So Noel Gallagher is creating this environment where he's kind of in a daze, messing around with a few musical ideas, but he's also introducing external distractions through the television, which become stimuli for his creative process. And through that process of not really paying attention to anything in particular, but just being vaguely aware of all the sights and sounds around him, the ideas start to flow. There are so many studies now being done on how creativity works and how people come up with new ideas. And one thing that you consistently hear from songwriters and artists is this idea that when they're not trying too hard, when they're not focusing too much on the problem, that's generally when the breakthrough happens. And neuroscientists refer to this as the gamma spike or the aha moment. And we find that these moments often come when we're not trying to solve the problem, when we're relaxing and letting our brain rest, such as having a shower, falling asleep, and you hear so many songwriters give anecdotes about that great idea that comes in the middle of the night. So really what Noel Gallagher is doing here is replicating that relaxed state by creating an environment where he's not trying too hard to solve a songwriting problem. And when I first heard Noel Gallagher talk about his TV method, I was intrigued. And so I sat down with my guitar and tried it out, just playing around with a few little shapes, but not really focusing too much on what my fingers were doing or what sounds were coming out of the instrument. And at the same time, I actually pulled up a video and had it on the background. And the video was actually an interview with Noel Gallagher. And I had the volume down really low, so I couldn't actually hear what he or the interviewer was saying. But at one point I did glance over and see him picking up some Russian dolls and playing with them. And he was opening them up and revealing the smaller dolls inside. And at that moment, I thought, what a great idea for a song. The idea that inside of us, there are these other versions of us. And if we keep opening up and digging deeper, we get to that final doll, the tiniest one at the middle, the one that's kind of like the child in all of us that's always been there. And so in a period of no more than four or five minutes, that song idea emerged. And so personally, I found this process incredibly effective. And it was so enjoyable, not just because it was different to the way I normally write, I also found it really relaxing. Somehow, not really paying attention to what I was doing took all the pressure off. And that, in a way, allowed the ideas to flow much quicker. Songwriting is like fishing. And if you're not down at the river, you're not going to catch anything. And I go down there every day of my life. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you don't. With this statement, Noel Gallagher makes his feelings clear about one of the oldest debates in songwriting. Do you wait for inspiration or do you make it a daily habit? But the real question is, why can't it be both? Surely if we're writing every day, that increases the chances of inspiration striking. And in a way, it makes the whole equation much simpler for us as songwriters to know that our job is to do it every day. And I love the metaphor that Noel Gallagher has created here. The idea of going down to the river and fishing feels relaxing, it feels enjoyable. It feels like a process that has removed the stress and the anxiety that often accommodates other processes. And so Noel Gallagher really presents a very simple equation. His job is to go down to the river, throw in a line and wait for the fish to bite. But if the fish aren't biting, then there's another option. 
Usually when I'm writing and I'm not going anywhere, one of the good things I do is just go for a walk. I was nearly run over a few times coming up with a chorus. Walking really helps me. I do a lot of writing in my head. So many artists are on record talking about the value of walking and how often it brings a fresh perspective to their project. Sting talks about the binary action of walking around and how it opens up the creative channel, which often helps him solve a problem that he's really stuck with. And this is again supported by a range of scientific studies, including one by the American Psychology Association and one by Stanford University, both looking at how creativity is enhanced when walking compared to sitting. Noel Gallagher seems to have no trouble giving his opinion, and some find him aggressive and controversial with some of his comments. But one thing that's really refreshing hearing him talk about music making and songwriting is how unambiguous his responses are, how clear he is in his mind about which methods really work for him. And with his trademark honesty, he addresses possibly the most asked question in songwriting. What comes first, the music or the lyrics? It hasn't changed at all. Still me and a guitar waiting for the melody. I'm not interested in the words. I'm not interested in the chords. I'm only interested in the melody and that's it. It's a lifetime of waiting for the melody to arrive. For Noel, it's music first, always. And it's not just music, he's all about the melody. The way Elton John and Bernie Taupin do it, Bernie will send him a lot of words and he'll put the music to that. I cannot get my head around that at all. That to me is so alien. I write the backing track first, the whole backing track, and the melody will be in my head and then I'll just wait for the words and that can take ages. Again, the beauty of songwriting is how many different ways there are to do it. Jason Isbell generally writes a complete set of lyrics first, whereas Noel clearly needs a melody to build the song around. And given that a melody is generally the catchiest part of the song, the part that draws us in, that gets stuck in our head, by putting melody first, by paying attention to it above all else, perhaps this is what allows him to connect with his audience so effectively. More than most, Noel Gallagher has a really clear way of defining and articulating his songwriting process. And it doesn't guarantee any outcomes. But he knows that if he goes down to the river and throws a line in every day, sits with his guitar, goes for some walks, and is consistently hunting for the next great melody, sooner or later he knows he's going to get one. People say that a lot. Why do you keep going? Because I really love doing it. I really, really love it. Happy songwriting. Bye.